right, we're setting up the buckets today. See, he's making sure that edge is straight. There's a lip on the top where the panels snap in. And that straight edge is helping us to get everything lined up straight between the buckets so the panels just drop right in. Our plan, how it works. We're just gonna keep going. We got three rows here. One row, two rows, three rows. And those buckets gotta come over here too. Yesterday the electrical guys came, electricians came, they put in all the wiring, wired up my hot tub, got that all ready, put in a disconnect. They brought those cables I showed you, they brought them up right there, brought them over there into my container box and everything's hooked up. Okay, so in here, we got the box put in, it's a little high. I can reach it. So here's my box with my metering. And I'm gonna mount my DTU here on the wall, hook up that cable. Since he wired everything back up the way it was, I certainly hope so. It looks wrong. <laughs> no, it looks right. White, black, white, black. It's still there. <sighs> Wires are still there, white, black, white, black, and he's still hooked up. He got the power off. Okay, so we're all hooked up. He ran that over to there. Kind of messy. Nice. It's all right. We're good. So this is Todd at NC Solar Electric. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll have more updates for you as the so job goes just on. Got done with the first row. Lining everything up nice and level. Straight, in a straight line, facing south. It's gonna be cool. There you go. It's one side. <laughs> you got a good shove. What a good push. I should go right in. Hey guys, nice job. It's in. Snap. Oh, not quite. Huh? Yeah, he's just a little bit more. Yep. There you go. Two down. Thank you. Got two panels on, and now we're heading for the second row. I still got to take all the rest of the panels off the racks over there before I can put those up. But uh, yeah, halfway done. Row two is almost done. Looking good, guys. Two rows down, starting the third row. All three rows are pretty much in, just finishing up. I'll start taking apart some panels soon those off of there and move them. That's the objective. Good morning. This is Todd at NC Solar Electric and this is my backyard. So these are the power field power racks all set up. Three rows, 12 panels, four panels per row. Ground over here is lower because we had a garden here. So we use the rocks to Stack them up so everything's level and straight. Got a little adjusting to do. These two are a little twisted, but uh, let's see. Nice job, everything's straight. Same here. These two rows need a few, a couple less buckets because they're. Um, wind blocked by the one behind them. I don't know how much that is. I put a little extra space, a couple extra feet between them here so that I would have more, less shading and more room to run the lawnmowers through. So, um, 
This is the first row in the back. So you got two per panel on the ends and three for each two panels in the middle and two per panel on the end again. These are some rocks that came out of the trench. Trench goes all the way over there and um, came across here. Got all my cables going in there. My inverter cable, my AC cable comes from the inverter and goes in, comes through here and in there. The cables lay right across here. Well, I put those two panels in yesterday to make sure the guys how they got to fit. You gotta give it a good shove to get them in there. But once they're in there, they're nice and they fit beautiful. So we got another panel that's gotta go on here. The panel's gonna extend off the end there to protect the box. And then over here, you've got three buckets for two panels and three buckets for two panels and three buckets for two panels and three buckets for two panels. And they did a really good job of lining everything up, facing south. Things get a little shifted because it's skewed on an angle. It'll look great. I can't wait to get the panels on. Now, to get the panels on, I need to take this apart. And I haven't quite got that far yet. I took the other panels off the other buckets. So, but this was the Unirac system for a roof mount. And in comparison, it's a pain in the butt to keep it nice and the dogs walk on it and the concrete blocks don't look great. But more so than all of that is that in the morning when the sun is coming up, like it is now. Can't really see it behind the clouds, but in the morning when the sun is coming up at 10 degree tilt with IQ8 plus microinverters, I'm getting about 40, 50 watts. At the same time, those two panels over there are giving me with the with the Hoy Miles HM. 350 NTs were giving me 120 watts, 125 watts at the same time. And that's partly be because of the tilt is 25 degrees, not 10. But it's also due to those inverters having an extra 50 watts of power coming out of them. So they really do make a difference, it makes a big difference morning and evenings. So I decided I'm gonna take this apart and get it out of the shade of those trees over there, which it was shaded in November, December, and January, and move it over to the sunny side of the yard at 25 degrees tilt, so everything looks good. I think I got a little twisted on that row. Nice. Looks good, looks good. We'll get it. It's gonna take a little time, a little effort, to take these off is a challenge. You gotta back off these bolts on all the points of the panel here. Back them all off. You gotta push the panel. It's got a lap, it's got a hook underneath this. It hooks into the frame. So you gotta push the frame this way all the way, then lift it up and put something under there so it can't snap back in while you push it up. While you push it up that way and move the panels this way to unhook it from the top of the frame, top of the hook. So, put those things. And, uh, and yeah, so got to take out the wires, rebuild it all. <laughs> Year later, starting over. But it's going to be so much better. Okay, this is Todd and Data from NC Solar Electric signing off. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And visit my new site, ncsolarelectric.square.site, for prices and components. And if you do need an install in North Carolina, let me know. I got a couple of guys now who are trained how to do this, and ground mounts are our specialty. Take care. <laughs>